Hey, Nathan. Yep. Why are you wearing a different shirt? Oorah. So, do you remember when I gave you that drink before we started playing? Yeah. Why? It wasn't Monster, was it? Oh my god, is it, is it gonna give me amnesia or something? No, don't be silly. It'll just knock you out cold. <sighs> Good night, my little angel. My monster, monster and my, my anger, anger has helped you survive, you survive this, this whole, whole time? time? Yup. Yep. Now, get angry, Nathan, Nathan like, like a good little boy. boy. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, be so happy. No, 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 no don't. don't. You're, creating You're creating something that you can't you control. control. You won't, you won't be, be able, able to destroy, destroy it. it. Journal entry number 137. I keep going back to that day. The day when it all changed. How a fool I was. Looking away from the road, I should never have let myself get distracted. Let my hands stray from the wheel. But in the end, I blame that damn child in the street. He should have known his toy was gone for good the moment it touched the pavement. And if I were to choose another to share the blame, it would be that idiotic and overly optimistic girl. Pushing that boy out of the way, taking his place. If she hadn't played hero, I would have moved on to the next life. Been free. But no. She just had to have her heroics before her death. And had to drag me down with her. To trap me here with this... Stupid looking baby. I can't leave his side. Neither of us can. Born the same day as our deaths. We are connected. How or why is still unsure. But I will find out as long as Ms. Chatty stays out of my way. Sincerely, The Spirit. I find this name suits me better than my old one ever did. It's much more dark and brooding. Journal entry, number 1184. I finally found the information I was looking for, though I found it in a way I wouldn't have expected. For the first time since last Christmas, I ran into another spirit, soul, 
whatever you want to call it. And the experience wasn't exactly... pleasant. There was something ancient and unnatural about this being, but it gave me the answers I needed. Some of it I had already figured out. Obviously, there's both good and evil in everyone. That's a no-brainer. But apparently, every some odd number of years, like 10,000 or something, a person is born with a clean slate. No good or evil. I know this has to be related to the connection I have with the stupid three-year-old on the floor trying to see how many Legos he can shove up his nose. The record's currently four. I just can't figure out how. I need to do more research. Sincerely, the spirit. Journal entry, number 2910. It came to me suddenly, and all the mother had to say was almost died at birth. The kid across the room who ignores me with every fiber in his being needs me. I remember now, that moment after death, when I could feel the pool, like a big-ass rock dragging me down to the bottom of the ocean, except I didn't drown in water, just darkness. And then there was a flash of light. And there I was, standing next to the boy as the doctors revived him. He was the clean slate. He would have died with no good or bad in him, regardless of what the doctors did. Obviously, I had to talk to the girl to confirm this, which she was annoyingly happy about. And sure enough, once mentioned, the event came back to her as well. We are here to be the good and evil for this Nathan kid. I need not ask what my part to play in his life is. All I need to do is look back at my final moments. I was the one behind the wheel. I murdered the girl. This must be my purpose. My destiny. I am the evil within. Sincerely, the spirit. Journal entry, 
number 7046. For years, I had always been under the impression that I was to be Nathan's darkness, his inner demon. But over time, I've come to realize that I can be more than that. When he is miserable, I'm alive. I can feel the beating of a heart that I gave up on a long time ago. But now, Nathan has given me hope. All of his negativity, I figured out a way to channel it through me, bringing me up from the ocean floor and close to the surface. I can almost touch it now. Just a little more misery and another can of monster and I'll breach the water. The rock will still be holding me there, but I'll be alive, mostly. But I know that'll never be enough. Freedom is what I really want. But the only way to have that is to kill the very thing that's kept me here all these years. Part of me wishes it didn't have to be this way. But another part of me, one with a lot more experience and motivation, loves this plan. All I have to do, it says, is use the monster against Nathan. A monster using monster. It's really fitting when you think about it. And now, all I have to do is get you to play the game. Nathan. Sincerely, the Spirit. I don't, I don't care, care what you want or don't want to see. But you'll be forced to go through so much torture. It's the best option. Well, well, for me anyway. He's already becoming addicted. I can't stand being here anymore. With you. I want to be free. beginning to wonder when you'd show up. I'll put that down, Nathan. You're wasting a while as usual. Spirit. The notes. I now understand why you make me play all these games. But it doesn't have to be this way. Of course it does. You of all people should understand, Nathan. I need to be free. And as long as you're alive, I can't be. Spirit. I know you're not all evil. There's good in you, just like everybody else. You were once alive, too. Here's how this is going to end. You have three options. Spirit, I know you took away my memories. One, I go through this portal because you're too stupid to figure out how to destroy it. You die, and I become free. I know you did it to make me miserable. Two. You, by some miracle, figure out how to destroy the portal. You live, and I sink back below the surface. For a time. I know that my misery gives you the power you need to be free. Or three! You throw that lantern into the portal and destroy us both. And you better hope that the afterlife is better for you than it has been for me. But I won't let it end this way, spirit. There has to be another way. There has to be a fourth option. Oh, Nathan, you're so stupid it's adorable. There is no other option. This is it. Now make your choice, and let's see how well the Angel and I have fulfilled our destinies. You're right, Nathan. There is another way. Just go- Angel! Uh -huh. No distractions. You have a choice to make, Nathan. Now choose! I choose option number four. Oh, you idiot! I've already told you there is no option four! Yes, there is. I just hope it's the right option, though. For all of our sakes. What? No! This will end it all! You will play my game! Fine. I'll play your game, Spirit. Just not this one! You want another game? Fine, but there will be no escape next time. This will be your last game. I'll make sure of it.